Greetings! So if you've ever played around with electronics, you would have no doubt at some point in time have wanted to control the speed of a DC motor. Not just by putting a smaller battery onto it, but to be able to actually linearly adjust its speed, like with a knob. Well, with the advent of today's technology, you indeed can, because of the invention of PWM. To be fair, PWM was invented in the mid-1900s. Not exactly new technology, but don't sell me short just yet. PWM, or Pulse Width Modulation, is an electronic technique used to change the average voltage seen by a load. This is done by adjusting the width of an oscillating pulse. See, every electrical component has an electromagnetic inertia, or resistance to change in voltage. PWM exploits this property to keep the average voltage on electrical components relatively steady. In the case of a PWM designed to drive a motor, because the rotor already has mechanical inertia, you don't have to oscillate the PWM at very high frequencies. So today we're going to be building a small PWM designed to drive a 6 volt motor using the chip that you all know and love, hopefully, the NE555 timer. Now, first and foremost, we have to address the error in the circuit provided to us by 555timercircuits.com. Nothing to fuss about, but just note that if you follow the schematic, you have to reverse one of the diodes or the PWM will not work. But after you've done that, the things you'll need are a perforated board, uh, the actual NE555 timer chip, two 1N4148 diodes, a 1K ohm resistor, a 470 ohm resistor, a 5k potentiometer, a 1 nanofarad capacitor, a 100 nanofarad capacitor, and a BD649 or equivalent Darlington transistor. To start with our 555 timer somewhere on our perf board, we're going to connect pins 4 and 8 to our 6 volt source. Pins 6 and 2 will then be connected together. Our 1 nanofarad capacitor is grounded. Pin 1 should of course be grounded because it's the ground pin and pin 5 will also connect to ground but through a 100 nanofarad capacitor. The outer pins of the potentiometer will connect to pin 7 through two diodes in opposing directions. It doesn't actually matter which way, all that will change is the direction of the potentiometer. Then the center pin of the potentiometer will connect to pin 6. We're then going to connect pin 7 to our supply voltage with a 1k ohm resistor and pin 3 will connect to the base of our Darlington transistor through a 470 ohm resistor. Finally, the emitter of the transistor will be shorted to ground. So if you've been following then you should have something that looks like this and does something that looks like this. It's magic man. So thank you if you've been watching, I hope you learned something, and if you haven't already, smack that like button and give me some love. Don't forget to subscribe guys, I'll see you next time.